Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve question number seventh of exercise five point two. The question says you have to find the thirty first term of an AP whose eleventh term is thirty eight and sixteenth term is seventy three. Till now, we know that what are APs, and in this case, the eleventh term is given to us, and the sixteenth term is given to us. So the eleventh term is equals to thirty-eight. Uh, the eleventh term is given as thirty-eight, and the sixteenth term is given as seventy-three. You have to find out the thirty-first term. So the thirty-first term we have to find out. So how to find the eleventh term? We know that if you want to find nth term, there is a formula. The nth term is equal to a plus n minus one d. So here, the eleventh term should be equal to a plus the value of n here is eleven. So eleven minus one is ten. So ten d. So our eleventh term must be a plus ten d. Similarly, our sixteenth term. Must be equal to a plus 15d. So in that case, the value of n will become 16, or 16 minus 1 will be 15d. And the eleventh term is given to you as 38, so value of this will be 38, and the sixteenth term is given to you as 73. So these are the two equations. Solving these two, we we'll get the answer of a and d. And using that value, we can find out the thirty-first term. So these are the two equations. And if I subtract these two equations, this will become minus. This will become minus, and this will become minus. So plus minus is minus. So a and a can be cancelled out. Plus minus is minus. Fifteen minus ten is five d with negative sign, because greater value has negative sign. Similarly, here also. We can subtract this. So 13 minus 8 is 5, and 6 minus 3 is 3 with negative sign. Again, greater value has negative sign. So the value of d will be minus 35 upon 5. Here, it should divide 35. Minus minus can be cancelled out, and this can be cancelled seven times. So the common difference here must be seven. Now. If I substitute this value of d in any of these two equation, I'll get the value of a. And these are the only two values I need to find to find out the thirty-first term. So, if I substitute this value of d in our first equation, so a plus the value of d here is seven, and this is thirty-eight. So. The first will be seventy. This is a plus seventy equals to thirty-eight, and a will be equals to. Now this value when shifted to that side, so it should minus seventy. So here the value of a must be minus thirty-two because third seventy uh, minus thirty-eight is thirty-two. Now. We know the value of a, which is the first term. We know the common difference, which is seven, and we want to find out the value of thirty-first term. So, the thirty-first term again, we'll use the same formula, n minus one into d. We have to find the thirty-one, thirty-first. Uh, the first term is given to you as thirty-two. This is the first term, and the term which. We need to find is thirty first, and the value of d here is seven. So solving this, this is minus thirty two. This is thirty into seven plus minus is minus thirty one minus one is thirty. Now I can first of all I have to open the bracket according to the board mass. So this is twenty one, and with a zero. Now we have to subtract. So ten minus two is eight. Again, ten minus three is seven and one seventy-eight. So 
so the 31st term must be 178 so this is how you can solve this question so if you like this video please subscribe to our channel and if you have any problem in maths you can contact to us the phone number and the email address is given below in the description thank you